I'll probably have to move. Hello people, you are on the Life Story channel. Today I will tell you about such a case in life. Recently, I moved from my parents to a rented apartment. I could not stand the closeness of our apartment. For a couple of months, I lived in an apartment, made small repairs, bought household appliances for the house, even for meetings with friends, there was no time. And now my new life has entered into a rhythm, I began to get acquainted with the neighbors. A single woman lived next to me. I met her once in an elevator. She was wearing a black dress and a black hat with a veil. She looked theatrical, but at the same time mourning. I greeted her politely, but for some reason she stepped away from me. A few days later, I saw her again in the elevator, still wearing the same strange hat. She stared at me, but didn't say a word. Since then, I met her every day and interestingly, only in the elevator. The woman behaved very strangely, sometimes she cried softly, then tried to take my hand or came too close to me, invading my comfort zone. But for the most part, she looked at me and silenced sadly. To be honest, this situation began to frighten me. I tried to talk to her, but she doesn't answer. I began to be afraid of her, and what if she was crazy and would one day attack me with a knife? I shared my fears with my neighbor. She couldn't figure out who I was talking about for a long time, and then she remembered and told me her story. It turned out that the strange stranger's son died at the age of 28 years. He and his friends were celebrating their name day at a country house, and it turned out so strange that the old Dacha burned down and all the guys who were there also burned down. Something has happened to her since then. The woman says that her son is alive, just lives far away and will come soon. The neighbor suggested that I looked like her dead son, maybe the stranger thinks that he still returned. Yes, that might explain her strange behavior in the elevator. But, to be honest, I did not feel better, and it became creepy. How can I imagine what is going on in the head of a strange stranger become creepy? I'll probably have to move. You can watch and listen to other stories on my channel. Send your story to me in the mail and I will tell it to others. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.